why. You don't have to know. I definitely don't know. I can tell you what the public record shows. Uh, uh, he researcher for Breitbart and for uh, this radio show. I want to, uh, let's, let's get to the issue at hand here, one of the many issues, which is, the Democrat Party, 2019, openly radical, but more than that, openly advocating for interests before Americans, openly advocating for interests for, of illegal aliens. And by the way, to me, I, I wonder who stacked the decks of this audience here that they clap every, to every single thing that these Democrats are saying when it comes to open, literally anything, any radical, the further radical left the Democrat Marxist Socialist Party got in this debate, the more claps they got from that totally fixed audience of like communists and socialists that I guess NBC found. Uh, talk about, Josh, the percentage of the debate that focused on illegals. What's going on here? Uh, yeah, the debate on Thursday night, I guess, the big header, uh, the heavy hitters, I guess you can say that, supposedly, uh, and the uh, heavy hitters of the. Uh, Socialist, of course. First hour, I would say, which in the first 60 minutes, I would say about 50 minutes or so, and I'm not exaggerating, you guys can rewatch this, and I hope that you do, because it really is important to watch it even more than once, if you haven't watched it already, to definitely watch it. Um, but what you'll notice in the first hour is that, it was an American interest, that we're being talked about, what, what are you going to do to, you know, right? You know, help the American people, their living standards um, on so many issues. It was, what are you going to do for the illegal immigrants that are in this country and that are not in this country? What are you going to do, you know, for the ones that are in here in these, you know, detention centers? Uh, what are you going to do to help their lives, make their lives better while we have a half a million literally Americans living on the streets, not to mention in Los Angeles, uh, yeah, I mean, Los Angeles. Thank you. 
Wednesday night debate where Tulsi Gabbards won the Drudge Poll, uh, which does have some significance here, and the rise of Gabbards, she's all over the place right now, is sort of like a rising star, and yet in the Democrat debate, they gave her almost no time. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Uh, yes, I think that's really interesting. Obviously, she won the Drudge um, Poll. She also won the Washington Examiner Poll. She was also the most Googled uh, candidate um, within 24 hours on Wednesday night, so what is going on? So I think people are, they're not, thank God, they're not stupid, and beyond that, they're smart, just uh, Americans, and they intuit what is going on. First of all, yeah, she got seven minutes of time, the least to speak. Um, even her sister actually tweeted during the debate that uh, the DNA really stacked against her. Uh, so the question really is, you know, why is she getting this much traction, and why is the deck um, stacked Concentration camp madness comparison statement. <laughs> 